Hello, baby. Did you miss me? I'm back. I'm back with my two friends, my compadres. This is the triple option. Adam Brown, Kevin Little. How you guys doing? Adam, have you recovered from your stroke aneurysm by the blue light <laughs> that was the wonderful instant reaction pocket? I've been trying to get the emotion out of you. And it finally took three games for you to break into a tiny little million pieces. How you doing? Yeah, man, I'm good. That was a long, long afternoon. And unfortunately, <laughs> the incident reaction caught the brunt of my hell. But <laughs> yeah, my feelings haven't changed a whole lot, though. So yeah, well, let's get I'm ready to get into it. That's phenomenal. That even after a couple of days, the feelings are still crystallized. I loved it, my friend. Keep it going. Keep I appreciate it going. that. That was good. That was good. Kevin, how are you doing? Man, I, I'm doing great. It's been fun watching uh, all the all the people resonate with AB's uh, opinions. Uh, it also doesn't go unnoticed that you guys seem to to really click on the one that was all AB's opinions more than one that was all <laughs> Kevin's opinions. So you know, I'll keep that in mind moving forward. Um, <laughs> Just remember who edits the videos. <laughs> That's right. The real don't, don't take him off, guys. We can't do this without him. We Adam and I would be doing this like ten cans and strings if it wasn't for Kevin. <laughs> so listen, I've got a confession to make, gentlemen. Oh no. I was gone. I'm sure the environment was pleasant. Uh, I'm I'm back. Sorry, guys. I wasn't fired permanently. Just had some work stuff to do. I actually missed watching this game live. I was You're lucky. Kinnick you didn't miss much. Stadium. I, that's what I've heard. I was at Kinnick Stadium, lovely Iowa City, with my beautiful wife, enjoying mm. some uh, some of the state beverage, which of course is a Bush Light. Many, many Bush Lights. Sat amongst the Hawk people. You waved to the she, children's. I hospital? did. I waved to the children. They waved back. It felt good. Heartwarming. <laughs> I felt like a million bucks after I waved to the tiny sick children. I looked at my phone. And saw that we were immediately down by double digits to Wake Forest. Not great. <laughs> so checked my phone afterwards. Florida State loses 35 to 14. We come home on Sunday. I have the game recorded on my DVR. My wife goes, would you like to watch this? For the first time in my adult life, I declined politely. Deleted it from my DVR. So I have not seen one play of this apparently train wreck of a football game that happened at the snuggy village of Wake Forest in front of 12,000 people or whatever their stadium holds. So I'm going to be watching this film for the first time. So this is going to be my kind of instant reaction. However, I saw six turnovers, I saw multiple quarterbacks, and I saw one really, really bad pair of press conferences today trying to explain that abomination of a football game so before we get into the film you guys do this anyway but explain it to me like i'm five adam brown why did florida state lose to wake forest well, i know first there's many true. reasons give me the give me the biggest reason first off i've got to say thank you to mrs Rowland for offering that opportunity for you to sit down and watch that shit show. All right. So <laughs> hats off to you having a great wife that she afforded you that opportunity. The best. She's yeah. married to me. <laughs> <laughs> she made a great choice. An angel. I mean, I, try, I can't sum up that in just one <laughs> simple Give thing. Then. Give me a couple. Do your best. All right. There's a lack of talent. There is a lack of wanting to do the right thing. And there's shit coaching going on right now. I mean, there's three of them just summed up in, in one. I mean, look, Kenny Dillingham can't sit go on air today. I, I don't want to jump ahead, but he can't go on air today and say we weren't prepared for man coverage. At some point, you got to have something that's in there for man coverage. I, I know it's different, but you, you still got to have something. You, you, every every team has can run mesh. And you can run mesh against man. You can run mesh against zone. Hey, we ran it once in spring. I uh, just, <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of myself. So, Kev, you you do what you got to say. And we've yeah. got a special guest for you guys after the film review, uh, after the condensed game. We have a special guest to bring on that was actually there to see uh, the, the the wonderfully uh, answered and well thought out press conferences that happened today, which generated quite a bit of buzz. Now, Kevin, Adam didn't really say a lot uh, when I asked him the one thing, the reason why Florida State lost. So can you go and maybe just expound a little bit more than him? Uh, mistakes. That's my number one. It's mistakes. Just look at you, you succinct son of a gun. <laughs> Not surprised. Mistakes. And then, Adam, 
lack of anything. <laughs> Lever- that would lack be of everything for a football team. Just devoid a black hole. I mean, but we. I don't want to go because we want to get into the film, and that's what people are going to tune in to watch. But I've been saying it since the JSU loss. Like everybody wants there to be a reason. Uh, the Dillingham sucks. Fuller sucks. Mike Norvell sucks. The players suck. Somebody sucks. These situations are never as black and white as that. Mm-hmm. And that's that. that is the message I've tried to hammer home to people that want to listen. I mean, there's some out there that don't want to listen. They want it to be one thing or the other. But you've got to understand that these things don't happen overnight. They've been festering for years. It is not a black and white situation where there's just one thing that's going to be an issue. There's so much gray area. There are players that are struggling. There are players that don't want to do what they're told to do. There are players that are dealing with real life situations away from football and they just can't, they can't focus enough on football and make it a priority, even though they're here on scholarship. There are coaching situations that are a problem. There are guys that don't get along, you know, in that aspect, there's just so many things that create a crappy program. Well, that's where we're at. Yeah, definitely not a black and white situation. More of a more of a brown situation because it seems like everybody wearing garden and gold may have crapped their pants on Saturday. It sounds, <laughs> sounds a little bit like it. But to just find how bad the shark was, Kevin, roll that beautiful footage. Let's do it. I couldn't. I was worried, too, because for a team looking for energy and consistency, this this is the most somnambulant crowd in what? history. This is, that is it's very word. sleepy. It's very sleepy. It's basically and, Wake, and Forest Wake Forest is a temperpedic situation. Wake Forest is a life sucker for a program. I mean, they just they just eat you up. That so, 10-yard run right there, missed tackle. So it's definitely an accident that I'm hiding Wake Forest's uh, or slow score here. Up. <laughs> but it, it won't uh, it won't be an accident later. <laughs> nice stick inside, nice play. Immediate yeah. interception. Yep, you Good get the interception. Good coverage there. Brown Great job. Wow. Great job by a young player, Sidney Williams. I mean, there's a piece you can build around. You're starting to see him inserted in the lineup more. Your front's doing a nice job. They're keeping Hartman. You know, there was a lot of uh, mush rush this week trying to keep Hartman inside the pocket. Yeah, this is a, a great play, a play that we're expecting kids to make more often than they do. <laughs> Let's look at it one more time, please. Yep. Backers are doing an okay job. You get a, you get a decent job up top, and then you know Lundy's underneath of this, which is good. You know, you're starting to see a little bit of progress from those guys. Uh, again, younger players. You're going to notice this being a, a, a key aspect of the talking point tonight. Some of these younger guys are starting to develop a little bit uh, and showing some progress. Really tight window. DB makes a play on the ball. Yep. First series, some juice, some juice in that in that very sleepy wake environment. Uh, I'd be feeling good if I was watching this live. I can't wait to not feel that way in a little bit. <laughs> oh, it happens pretty quick here, Trey. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is not one you're expecting. Yeah. Oh, no. He little just counter wa- little counter while. Let's run it back to the very beginning. So you're going to get uh, Devontae Love-Taylor pulling and Cam McDonald. Cam McDonald gets knocked off his track a little bit. So he's a little late getting there. By knocked off his track, I mean he has to get, kind of get around the defender instead sure. of just being able to run more of a straight line around. Taylor ends up being the rapper, and uh, McDonald ends up kicking here, which is – it works. It all works. Yeah, so um, the first play was was actually a little hitch to McLean. Got the ball moving. We're at second and four, which is pretty good for our offense. <laughs> Right where, right where you want to be. Right where you want to be. Coming out in that tight flex that we saw a lot against Notre Dame, then magically disappeared against Jacksonville State. And honestly, this is well blocked up. This mm-hmm. there's a pretty pretty good hole here. Yep. You're at least for the first down, you'd think. Yeah, I would think so. And he just drops it. Oh, that's an atrocious fumble. So we uh I, I took a look at the starting five. Looks like who? Washington, Great. Uh, Gibbons, yeah. Washington. Babion. Love Dante, Taylor and Love then Taylor Brady, Brady Scott, Scott. at yep. right tackle. Already seeing Brady Scott at right tackle. No offense. That's obviously Robert Scott not available for the game. No Maurice Smith. Going to be a long day, right? Yeah. Here's the old. Going to be a long day if you tackle like that as well. This is just, I mean, this is on, on linebackers. We we knew that this would, this defense would, this offense would tax the linebackers. Um, you see him getting kind of, he's in no, they're both kind of in no man's land. What? Uh, 
Well, yeah, here's, I mean, here's a big issue for me. Where, where, why is Quayshon Fuller that far up the field? I mean, I, that's an issue in its run fit. Because now you put, you know, you put Lundy in a position where, yeah, he's got, he's got, he's got to kind of become a force player because Fuller's way up the field and, Yep. So he no kind of goes out. Lovett goes out. There's no one for the for the a gap here. Yeah. No second line of defense. Just immediate. Just free ten yards. I mean, they they just wait for the linebackers to come up, get engaged, and then I, I it blows my mind watching it. It's, and then they just then they just hit a hole. It's, it's a beautiful a offense. It's just uh, that's what they want. That's this is what it's designed yep. to do. Um, yep. And it works, you know. They they consistently put up points. There's uh, Mr. Gainer stuck in oh, no man's land. Okay. And Jerry, I don't never need to see Jerry Jones running in man coverage again. What yeah. happened there? The technique up top. Why why just running right by him? Was the cushion off? Was the technique bad? I mean, it looks like Wake Forest had a pretty good day passing the football. Yeah, Fuller, why? Had, Fuller gave an explanation on this today. I didn't. I didn't get to hear. I didn't get to hear what he said. Uh, we'll, we'll get into it maybe a little bit later. But he immediately he hops out. out. We're in man coverage, and he jumps outside, which I, that's not a form of man that I've. I'm maybe they're hoping to funnel to this guy, but he's dropping in the middle of the field. That's not well, right. You know, yeah. I, and I'm not a DB coach or anything, but you never want to give up inside technique, right? Because then you don't get no. to use the sideline no. as an extra defender. I mean, if yeah. this was some kind of cover four, which it doesn't look like it is, sometimes you'll see them funnel inside, right? Okay. Hoping to get to this guy. But I think he's dropping in the middle of the field, and you, you generally don't want to give up the seam on a on a one high look. It's man everywhere else. Right. I, I don't think I don't think there's any justification I for just, that. I think it's just a screw up, which. And, Adam, again and again. Is it something to where I don't want to say anybody's afraid of contact, but maybe hesitant towards contact as a defensive back doesn't like contact? I mean, obviously it takes a physical presence to deny the inside route. I mean, this is something that's plagued Jerry and Jones ever since his time here, correct? Yeah, he's not the most physical player out there. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what makes you jump outside. You either got a wrong call there. Uh, I'm really not sure, Trey. Right. Okay. It's it's so tough to tell. I don't sure. I'm not sure why he would jump outside. You you obviously had a had a miscommunication there. So let's um, take a look at this guy. And I see Jordan Travis in the game. So yeah, Mackenzie Milton made one completion. They fumbled, then they put Jordan Travis in. Um, it seemed pretty clear that they wanted to get him in as quickly as possible. To me. Okay. Um, and here's. Brady Scott playing left tackle now? They had to move him because uh, Bavion had to come out for a play or two. He got rolled up. Oh, so Washington is snapping. Oh, God. This is just – there's no continuity along this offense at all. It's yeah, and it's, it's, and it's, easy to, it's easy to start understanding why the offense kind of is a mess. You know, I, I don't I don't see an identity for this offense. What are you? You're forcing McKenzie Milton out there. Are you trying to recapture that old that rekindle that old relationship or that old flame that he can kind of find that magic that was UCF? You've gotten away from the running game, which was your strength last year, and you can hang, kind of hang your hat on. You, you're totally going from that, but then on the other side, your O line is a mess. So, I mean, the positives are here. Uh, defensive line does a good job on this outside zone play. Stuff it up, take away cutbacks, but then you get absolutely zero pass rush on second and long. How did the defensive line look all day? Going in, I thought this would be an area where Florida State could really do some damage against Wake as far as having an advantage. Right here, Hartman's got way too much time. Yeah, I did. Go ahead, Go ahead No, I didn't think that they were a factor, really. I mean, I, I thought they played okay. I, I don't want to say that they're not a factor, but I think that this, this scheme. It takes them away, it takes their strength away, which is getting up the field and getting after the quarterback. Sure, they, they were forced to you know mush rush a lot uh, just to try to contain Hartman, and then Hartman was able to get away as guys were breaking free down the or as guys were turning their backs down the field. Oh wow, uh, what yeah. happened there, man? It's just man coverage. We're we haven't really deviated much. We played a ton of man. It's just really this is really bad technique by uh, Jamie. So let's see. You watch him at the top of the route. He's on his heels. Yeah, he just he just yeah, he just turns him. 
So this is something that our receivers don't do a good job of. Watch this head fake, right? Oh, I I paused that perfectly. But look, wide receiver's body's leaning outside, head leans outside, slot receiver, or slot corner sees it, breaks outside, then he comes inside. It's a well-run route, but not good coverage. I mean, we pointed that out when we were talking about McLean's jump ball route, how we don't we don't press we don't press uh, DBs. Oh, good, we don't, well, good recovery. We even though you got burned on the route. Yeah, we play what's called mirror technique, where the receiver is supposed to mirror what the are the corner supposed to mirror what the receiver does, which makes the Jerry and Jones thing even more perplexing. Why did he jump outside if it's mirror technique? But I, I don't know. Great turnover. However, this is a formula to get smashed. And this you, is how good our offense win. was. You it's can't not even shown. Win. Yeah, oh my god, geez, I didn't even think about that. I thought you were just rewatching the play again. Your wide receivers can't win one on one matchups against wake DBs. And the wake wide receivers win their one on one matchups against our DBs. Mm-hmm. That to me is very scary for the rest of the season. Cause Wake is well coached but not talented. Not very talented. They're experienced, correct? Is that fair? I'm not. Yeah, I mean, they got the Roberson. They the got the team. Roberson kid, who's who's really really good. Um, he's their slot. Uh, they're. I, I mean, I wouldn't call them elite at wide receiver, but they're good. And they're they're okay. They're they're good. Look, I mean, you're asking a freshman to be your best wide receiver. You're asking Pokey Wilson to be one of your better wide receivers, and he's. I mean, what's this? His fifth year. I mean, he's proven what he is at this point. Keyshawn Helton. A nice player, but he's just not – he's small and not explosive. I mean, you're – yes, Trey, the, the wide receiver room is a big-time issue and a big-time factor for why teams are just lining up playing man coverage and saying – Oh, my God. That – Hartman's not – Well I, – I just see a lack of physicality that I saw in the Notre Dame game. As yeah, far as, like, just they're, – they're not playing. They're, it's not an aggressive – and obviously that's due to Wake Forest scheme, making you double-think everything, but – but even I wonder here, if that's just not, not due to the first three games of the season, too, man. These guys are playing in their own heads. Absolutely. It, Absolutely. Plays like this is just kind of like, I, I'm not a soft factor kind of guy, but it just seems like people are walking around. Mm-hmm. Correct. There's a general lackadaisical nature to these guys. I'm Just no sense of urgency, and that's why you lost the Jacksonville State game. And it's just, it's not, there's no... There's no sense of urgency where I need to be the guy to make this tackle, or else you know something bad could happen. It's like it you've kind got of a, like ah, oh, the next oh. guy will get him. I'll try my best. Well, you've got to get on this play here. I mean, you've got a kid like Travis J, who has gotten all the hype in the world. Everybody saw about how great he is and is going to be, and he dominated practice in the fall leading up to the season. And to just watch the effort on this tackle at the end. Yeah, you know, he's he's in phase there. I mean, just yep. a kind of a whiff, a whiff. I mean, what and, is that? And let's talk about this. This is, if you want to Doc Fuller on something, um, it's stuff like this. Gainer here goes into the wrong gap, completely wrong gap. He's got this B gap out here. Yep. I don't know what he's doing wandering over here, but that's what leaves this open. He's just not in the right place. He's we again. block ourselves. It's just the same stuff that was happening last year. Which, ugh. all right, these are yeah, these coaching. are mental things, right? Coaching, yeah, absolutely. That's just disheartening. That's a kid that doesn't want to be a linebacker, in my opinion. What does he want to be? <laughs> Dang, dude. Okay, Wake Forest is just every tackle. They're not getting down by the first guy. The kid doesn't even touch the ground there. Wake Forest is out muscling Florida state. It's very, um, it's very embarrassing on it. Like the, just the physicality, like it, it's, it's just, it's yeah, the, you were right. This is very bad. I want to see this again. Uh, you get Kier does a great job taking on this puller. Love it's fighting a double team inside. All right, All right. Here's the thing. So Kier takes on this puller pulling around the line of scrimmage. Then I've got one linebacker going out here, one linebacker going out here. There's no one filling these interior gaps. I don't I don't know the gap assignments here. Um, if I sat here and looked at it a little bit closer, I'm sure I could figure it out. Well, it's pretty easy to tell who should be. Right. This should be blown up. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And to be fair, if this is blown up well, then Gainer's on the right track here trying to fill on the outside. I think that Thomas is a step slow here. Oh, I think, I think the problem is Fabian Lovett gets so blown back that there's yeah, a gap turning. here. He's twisted right there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So that's the, the problem. Pads. Yeah. And Gainer pussy foots around with his block. Look, don't, don't get me started on that guy. I mean, that's that's shit effort. Well, uh, <laughs> don't, no. Well, no, 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 no. Well, I, didn't, I didn't disagree. I didn't disagree. Oh. I was going to say Florida State is always absorbing contact. We are never the we are never the violence delivery advice. We're the punching bag. We just the, look at that. Look at that. To, yeah, that's not great. Um, and then, dude, the heads are held up. It's Jordan and then we get a, again. Uh, is this the drive we get a little bit? Hey, this is the first time we've really seen this all year. This little read option. And, and, teams, we, and teams have said, go ahead, can it, you're running back. And yeah, yeah, no no respect to Corbin right there. I haven't seen him much since the fumble. Did they bench him or something? Oh, I don't know what they're doing with their running back rotation. It's, it was, it's it was questionable rotation. again. It's one yeah. drive apiece. That's what it feels like. It's just no rhythm. I, I don't get I, I don't understand that. The play calling doesn't feel like there's just no flow. There's no yeah. flow to the play calling. There's no flow to there's the no personnel flow to this freaking there's team. No, there's no flow to the team. There's, nice, there's a nice guy. Throw. Run yep. that back. Hey, something good happened here. Let's run that. We gotta <laughs> rewatch that. Decent pass protection. Yeah, this is a good little pocket. Darius is a little late off the ball. Jordan, and a good nice throw on the run. run. Yep. Good job Darius by Williamson Williams, and Justin. Young right. kid making a play. He's been he's been um I mean not consistent because he's so young, but I, Darian Williamson hasn't. Man, that's okay. Yeah. This is what I wanted to see because I looked at the stats and it looks like it was six it was six carries for Treshawn Ward, forty eight yards, eight yards a pop. Has looked consistently explosive, decisive, and I know I think we only got like fifty plays on offense, but yeah. Right back the, one fact, more time. the fact that Trayshawn Ward's only getting ten percent of your offensive touches pause, pause is, it right doesn't there. make any sense. Yeah, so you're getting counter Y, um, so that means the tight ends pulling. Got that compressed bunch formation with a is it a tight end? No, it's a you got that tight flex receiver down here. It's a yeah. fun little formation. Put you in mind. I'm trying to watch Keyshawn Helton here. You go ahead and let it run if you if you will. Keyshawn Helton, where is he? Oh, he's, over he's the top. He's a point man at the top, yeah. See, he's got to get inside leverage. This is... Yeah, his man makes a play. Yeah, this is going to be a better This is going to be a better play than what it is. I mean, he, look, Ward might lose this one-on-one -on -one in the open field, but he's got to get inside leverage here. And that's uh, yeah, just weak. Just, that, that's Those not... Are, but it, it, the people are going to blame coaching for that stuff. That's that's effort. That's doing the doing your job. It just those little things just keep showing up, play and play out. And you know that you know the place going to the right side. If you if you're not physical enough to block the guy consistently, use your body as a shield, yeah. right? At that, least get blown up to the in the right direction. So we stuff this one. So what do we do differently here? Do a little better job here. Let me move this a little bit for us. <laughs> Love it does a great job getting off the ball. That helps. Yeah. You want it, you want you really just want the point of attack there. Yeah, that's what you have to do against these gimmicky offenses. You just have to beat them. Yep. Just win these little one on one matchups if they want to sit in the backfield all day. All right, we got the ball down to the to the goal Look line. At, this game is <laughs> jumping all over the place. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why either because uh there we were yeah. we were, went into the Notre Dame game wanting to be a screen team. And it's like we've just – and I know teams are playing man coverage, which gets you out of the screen game somewhat, but they've got, they've got to find ways. Corbin and Ward are your two best offensive players right now. You've got to find ways to get them on the field together and to just get them the ball, force them the ball no matter what. And I mean, you've got to find these little ways to, and wrinkles to get them the football because they're the only ones that can make plays for you right now. I agree with you. And if, if you, you don't have an identity – lean on the kids who are actually doing some things successful. And if you keep doing that enough, maybe you build an identity. Start thinking players, not plays. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point, Adam. All right, so we get a miscommunication here. 
they seem to cover it up okay, but Brownlee's Brownlee's still in his pedal. Yeah, I think this is I I almost want to put this on on scheme here. That's hard but that's the, hard the, to cover. The, the yeah, defense it's called. Cover. Yeah, it's, so man, it's just it's man coverage against a bunch of inbreakers. Right. Well, they they had motion, they adjusted. I'm happy that he picked up the right guy. Mm-hmm. Inbreaker off this rub route. That that's yeah. it's just hard to hard to close on that. And he's are can we talk so Kev, why are they running so much man coverage? Uh, I think they just uh, don't trust them to run anything else, to be honest and, with you. And, but by them, who all don't they trust? Uh, I think the secondary... I they I, It's clear based off what I saw from Memphis and parts of what I saw from us last year that you know uh, Fuller is a, is a match man kind of guy. He wants to run match man. But at, at the end of the day, if you can't run man coverage you can't run match man coverage right Right. so it feels like they've just watered down this defense and they're just trying to play the basics and i think they're better than they were last year on defense but uh, i think at a certain point i think you i think you've got a secondary that doesn't want to do their job and in crucial situations do their own thing Uh, i mean jarvis brownlee's already pointed out they've got all field problems but then I think also you've got a linebacker core that you don't trust either to play any type of coverage. A lot of time puts you in, there for Hartman. Put you in a bind. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, time of time here, and it's just you can see it, right? What Wake Forest does is they know we're going to be playing just straight man coverage, right? They they know they have this, so they're going to line up in these bunch formations, do these different rub routes, right, and get guys open. It's it's hard to defend this in man, but if you can't have your guys play anything other than man, then what do you do? Adam, right. as a coach at this point, this is a crippling this is a crippling weakness. It will be exploited brutally by every team we play. Yep. Florida State is in the middle of we're at 0 three, it's a lost season. Do you run your defense as Adam Fuller with these guys? Or do you start playing the young guys and run your defense? Or do you keep it simple and try to, oh, that was brutal. Like there you that. go, Mark. Okay, All right, give me credit for that. That's what what do you do? What do you do if you're Adam Fuller? Do you run your defense with younger guys? Do you keep it simple so you try to get some wins this year? Like, what? how do you deal with this? That's what you do. Right. <laughs> I, look, I, <laughs> there's, there, there, there are no answers. There are absolutely no answers. Um, as hard as that is to say and want to hear, I mean, yeah, you can keep trying stuff and you can keep throwing stuff at the wall, but it's crystal clear these guys aren't going to do it for whatever reason. They don't have faith. Oh, my God. Yeah, ah, fun. Okay. Okay. All right, Trey. So it's the first time you've seen it. Well, was it a, was it a person? Go foul? replay it again. Uh, out, 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 out. Yeah. Unless the kid, unless the kid kind of dove, you don't need to, you don't need to do the little dump off at the end. I think right. the kid slipped, but why are you wrapped up on him, right? Like, uh well, okay. Well, that's if he slipped on the sign, that sucks. I've but, seen Jerry and Jones do much worse things than that. But however, dude, you've got a reputation as Florida State. You're an undisciplined team. You particularly are an undisciplined player. The ACC is full of blind dumbasses at official. You, you got to err on the side of caution. He's out of bounds. Just let go. And of course, that penalty is going to result in a touchdown because they always do. I've never seen a team that is just absolutely allergic to getting off of the field. Are they, run, State are they running a little zone here? It looks like zone, but I think Williams does a good job of carrying his guy for a second. But then, yeah, but then he comes off of it. For whatever reason, he thinks, I'm going to be Superman. There's for, like a ton of people up here that are going to get this 5240 quarterback as he leaks out of the backfield. Who to be fair no, has been I should you leave all game. my man. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's just playing hero ball. I mean, advantage. it was just one step, but it was and enough. Trey, there's your answer why there are no answers. I mean, why does that kid do that? At a certain point, they don't trust each other to do their jobs because each other aren't doing their jobs. So what do you do? I mean, everybody's asking it and everybody wants an answer. Uh, well, to, to me, what you do is you figure out what your pitch is on the recruiting trail. You're not going to win many games a season, no matter what. And you go, Hey, if your pitch is, I'm going to see these guys who played like absolute shit. 
against Wake Forest, my plan is to coach him up. I'll coach you up. Or my plan is, hey, at Florida State, we go youth movement. We play the young guys. You come in. You'll have a chance. The, you're playing. You, it sucks. Your season's over by game three. You're playing right now for that recruiting class. Figure out your pitch and <laughs> and set yourself up. Set yourself up if you're Mike Norvell for few, for success next year. However, Man. however you process that. Devontae just gets blown up. He's not yep. the same as last yeah. year. Clearly, not even, not even close. Got to give credit to Bud and Ingram on that one. They they've been beating that drum. They were they were definitely right. Man, I I think that there's a good pass off by those by uh, Taylor and uh, Washington up top though. I mean you're you, you see some progress in places that we we didn't see these things last year. You watch them handle the stunt together up top, pass so this like off. A... Yep, a little tackle and stunt up there. Uh, how did Jordan yeah, pro- How did Jordan process the defense this game, or is it still one one read and tuck it and run? He's got is one it... read here. This is one okay. read. Yeah, it's essentially just the play just itself. Wondering. Okay. Yep. Which he is it, what he is. Yeah. That that's either them not trusting or, but yeah, this seems bad... pretty clear to me that this is designed to be some sort of running back screen here. The cornerback, you just caught him in cover two instead of in man coverage, and you paid for it. He's right there. You took a risk because this is the <laughs> the only passing play you you feel like you can consistently execute. Kevin, I, I want to ask you a question, just uh, what you noticed throughout the game. We, we talked about Wake Forest wide receivers winning with really great route running. Florida State has bad receivers. How is their route running? Like, can are we disappointed with the level of coaching on the route running to where you're making bad receivers look worse? Like, is that something to maybe, like, we need to scheme these kids open. They can't get open themselves. Are the wide receiver coaches doing these kids a disservice? What do you think of Florida State's route running in this game? So, uh, I mean, noticing spring practices and the, and the practices I Good have seen, um, to go back to A.B.'s point, they, they have seemed like a, the screen game is where they want to make their – make their money right they okay they do they practice a lot of screen blocking a lot of those kind of fundamentals you i saw very little route running um drills and very little work on route running that's where i think this you can look at drops and stuff but i think the route running here is is pretty sad that was a great route actually so here you see that and he set it up he set it up he gave an outside move came back inside these are things you just don't see consistently. Gotcha. Right. So this this is actually a good job. That's McDonald, isn't it? Yep. It's a good that's route. A guy, that's what yep, gets but, him open. Right. Absolutely. A guy we've been clamoring for all season. Like this. It's is, almost this is like guy. sometimes these offensive players get in a hurry. They just get in a rush. And then that happens. There's yeah. no momentum ever. Twenty fifth year senior. Fox. Well, you get Brady Scott out of position. Just not a poorly handled. Uh, twist up there by the two of them and look uh, we're getting a little momentum and we lost it what's that Travis make it through this game that looks like a very hard hit no No, he did not that's where he cut that's that he came out there I don't think he played much in the second half I I can't remember off the top of my head all right what do we think of that throw I think it's a (laughs) (laughs) say what do you think It's, it's not a good one Trey he had time a lot of black yeah. A lot of black jerseys. Well, here's the thing. He he sees these black, the the Wake Forest defenders. Realistically, these guys aren't getting there, right? So you, once the ball's caught, it looks like triple coverage, but it, it wasn't. They just okay. broke on the ball. And since it's 20 yards downfield. But the problem is he throws it behind his receiver and gives him no real shot at catching this ball. Yeah, he's got to give it to him on the sideline. Right. That ball goes out here. I think if he throws it to the sideline, it's actually a catch. Right. Is, so, so inaccurate ball... Is that also a, a symptom of diminished arm strength from Mackenzie Milton who's recovering from a devastating lower leg injury? I mean, potentially, but he throws this f- 10 yards behind. it. If he threw it with harder arm strength, it goes 10 yards every, over everybody's head. I don't know. Okay, how so helps. it's not an arm. It's just, a, it's just an accuracy yeah, thing. But that could, also, that could also be from the lower body injury. Though, I mean, that's, right? or, that's true. Yeah, yeah. It, it can affect a lot of stuff. Okay. Great coverage. Good position. There we go. Very weak JB? holding call they called here. Oh, did they? Of course they did. God, I mean. <laughs> we handled we handled vertical routes pretty well there. 
Yeah, that's right where you want to be. I wonder if they'll show it. Of course, it's a penalty. Oh. Yeah. No, they don't show it. But he kind of he kind of grabbed his his waist a little bit as he crossed by him to make a play on the ball. Uh, but it's it's just little things like that. We'll we'll have a good series, get him to third and ten, hold him, and just give him a free first down. Breaks. You know, uh, Breaks, you gotta get him down. Um, Adam, what do you think of the DB technique? What do you, what do you think? What do you think of that? It's inconsistent. I mean, it's been the it's been the theme of the night. It, it's inconsistent when it when push comes to shove, those guys do what they want to do. Stupid blanket hill. God, I hate losing <laughs> to this team, man. Oh, I hate losing to these people. I don't They're not I don't, football people. Well, oh, there's a nice play. I think I think there's times when the DB technique is good, and there's times when it's bad. And uh, is well, it coaching? A... Is it is it coaching? Is it the players doing what they want to do? I don't know. I don't. I don't want to sound like an excuse maker. Yeah, you can't say. But it, if it's if it's good, sometimes that means it's being coached good. Sometimes, and it's bad. Sometimes you tell me all of a sudden it's not being coached good. Sometimes I just don't. I mean, I, I think I think that's so true of this team. They'll have they'll drive the ball twenty yards, thirty yards, and then get a holding penalty. And it's just like every drive, it feels like there's something that derails this team. So it's like. The eye test, they seem better than they are, and then they'll just lose because they you can't win if you can't score. If you're getting negative 10 yards every drive, you're never going to move the ball, and you're going to look the, terrible. Yeah, it, it's the will to lose, like pulling the defeat from the jaws of victory. Like, did, <laughs> God, dude, this sucks. Uh, but run yeah, that score picked to- on Brownlee. Uh, you I mean, just score a touchdown. Can we, we get that again. holding call? Can we get? Can we just one time get that holding call inside on the interior? Just no, one time, no. I want that holding call. Just no respect for the defensive lineman. Uh, a lack of consistency. Do you put that more on players or coaching? Uh, I think it's fifty-fifty. Yeah, that's. I think I it, here's all right. So I think it's coaching aspect of it is not holding guys accountable. Okay. If you're not if you're not being consistent or if you're your effort's not where it needs to be. You shouldn't play um, until you're ready to make that commitment. Uh, and then, but obviously, if you're making that choice to not play, give it your all, and not play with your all, I mean, that's on you too, to some, to some degree, right? I mean, you're a college yeah. athlete. It's not my job to hold your hand, but it is my job to bench you if you're not trying hard. I know. It's just one of those things where I normally like flashing consistency, I normally put on the player. But this seems to be systemic inconsistency. And when you're talking about systemic stuff, that's when I start to lean more towards coaching on a 50-50 thing. It's just – My, my I don't problem know, with that is that – If it's been systemic for for two staffs now. Three, really. You know what I mean? Like you're telling so me – So it's the players. You're but telling who's me. choosing to put those same players out no, there? And We're and talking and about these guys that – that mess and up over and over again, like, it, and that's and that's why I said that that's where the accountability comes into right into effect. Where if that's what they are and that's what they're showing you, then you need to sit them down. But, I mean, you have to create you create that culture by taking play time away because that's really that and the scholarship the only things you got. Right, it's a, the chicken or the egg of, of sucking ass situation, which is not yeah. Great. I Before mean, you, the reality grow, of it is growing three. <laughs> The reality of it is, even if it's not the coaching, it's on the coaches, right? Like sure. it's their responsibility, and and they've got to they've got to make some changes. And and there's some real questions heading forward of are they gonna are they making those changes nice they run. need to be Dude, successful? Dude, he nice needs run. the ball, and it's tough because I'm watching so much of Florida State's defense being on the field. Okay, was was again another negative play just can't there's no so rhythm they're, there's no they're consistency. working they're working quick game here and gosh well first of all what happens you there can't, Adam? You can't you can't see anything because so we got know, cut god, blocks up front so it's supposed god to be for, a quick throw yeah god forbid we get something that you could see outside of the freaking hashes here right so, so you get a double kind of a double outs concept i think one of the big problems here is that McDonald actually runs a decent route here. It just takes about 23 minutes to develop. And yeah. by that point, there's pressure in his face. And and realistically, you don't need to run like a head fake for, for this route. This should just be quick. We're trying to get the ball out of the hands. It's third and three. Um, but watch watch McDonald here. He He's actually open. It's just too late. Right. You got double cut blocks on the left side. The ball's got to be out now. 
Right. Ball so by that point, he's running for his life. He's it's a, a little, dead play. He's a little slow off the ball. Yeah. I don't, run it one more time. Yep. The full, the full thing, please. I wanted to watch the top of the screen. Is it? I think it's the same route concept. They're all. Yeah. They're all cutting. The tough part is the top of the screen. Helton gets jammed. Right. Yeah, and... So. What do you do about that? Can't get different wide receivers. Um, <laughs> no, you the, man. It's you throw the tough. ball. You throw the ball out of bounds. Or, yeah, you throw it away. Know. Or, or yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. You know. Just Instead a situationally, uh, situationally bad football team. Just right, and this is one of those situations where it was the start of the third quarter. You moved the ball down to the forty-one yard line, third and three, and you just you you poop yourself and don't get points to start the. If we went down there and scored a touchdown and made it twenty-one twenty-seven, we have a football game, and we just never showed that will when we needed it. We never put any pressure on Wake Forest. I feel like if I was a Wake Forest fan, I wouldn't feel nervous watching this game at all. Look at that. Just immediate just let me get let me get four extra yards, please, while I just run through this soft tackle. They didn't tackle like this against Notre Dame. They didn't tackle like this against Michael Mayer. It's just I don't get it, dude. I really don't. And that's Sydney Williams was one of the one of the guys that you know, kind of came up in that Notre Dame game because of his hitting. Come oh, on, Lundy. Come oh on, my Lundy. God. That is such a microcosm. That's just a microcosm of Florida State, man. Right. For, the, for those of you watching this right now, I want you to imagine that you're Mike Norvell and you called this play and you coach these kids and this happens. Right here, you're thinking, awesome. It's going to be second and 11. Right, I put my kids in a position to be successful, and, and then the three students show up. Uh, and, first and then the safety, and then the safety comes up and falls over the friggin' missed tackle. Like, come on! You almost expect like a horse collar at the end just to add another extra fifteen. It's just you can't. Finding ways to fail is the theme to me of this game. Yeah, it's just one of those things where if you're a coach, you sit here and you go. There's a million things that went wrong, and I don't know, like, where do you begin? Where I, I don't pfft. tackling drills, maybe coverage drills, yeah, but like, there's so much going on here that you're just like, it is baffling that I have athletes at Florida State that are that are making these mistakes and not making these tackles. Well, you've got these athletes making these mistakes. It's it's about time to possibly see. Some of the younger guys see if they'll make these same type of mistakes. Will they make effort mistakes? Do you think that's something that's coming, Trey, realistically? I, I think it should, but I don't know. I If there's one thing that's really baffled me about Mike Norvell's tenure, it's his personnel rotation and usage. So there's all these things that that you would think – oh, my God, dude. Um, that you think you would see. I just – Mike Norvell is a detail-oriented coach, and there's a lot of there's things that he does well. His evaluations of his own team, back from even last year when you're playing Tate Rotomaker instead of Jordan Travis, like Jordan, the whole Jordan Travis triple option thing was basically held to his head at gunpoint. To even the fact where you decided to use your transfer portal scholarships, where there's obviously the offensive line, the, there was a lot of people that questioned how those were distributed. I kind of question Mike Norvell's evaluation of his own team, honestly. It's, I mean, and I, I think that's something that if it's not an ongoing story, I think it needs to be. And like, no, I, I completely agree with you. And it's something that we have to watch going forward. Right. I mean, like it, if, it, if you're selling out and you're playing, if you're playing these kids that consistently give poor effort, consistently give good, bad technique cool man you've lost the young kids and sell out for maybe what one more win right i think like, that's what's the point that's where you have to settle of like yeah these mistakes are on individual kids and they're deflating but also yeah. when it when uh, it's all of the kids on the field giving this effort and making these mistakes you have to start looking at the coaches right and there is a balance of you don't want to ruin these young kids either but ugh. the good old male ego 
I know, man. Is, is that what you think it is a little bit? Ad? Like I can, oh, get, I yeah. can get the most out of these kids. Like oh, I, yeah. these kids are, you know, I can that's keep a nice play, play I can, design. I, I think we could have ran this play keep, 20 times and, and won this football game. I, but I also think that there's, <laughs> look, there's pressure with this job. And oh yeah. Especially nah, now. Dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. But that's a, I mean, look, it's a factor. Absolutely a factor. You're trying to show that you can do something. Oh, this, you're going to love this tray. Oh no, guys! I'm so nervous. This has been so bad already. All right, fourth <laughs> quarterback. All right, dude. Uh, run that back. Look, look, wait, run let, that. I just no. want to hear Trey's reaction. Just here, shut. Eh? Just wait a minute. Is this designed? <laughs> I mean, shit. He's got a first down if Devontae Love Terrell blocks anybody. Why, dude? Yeah. Why, so, dude, that's designed, right? There's no read off that. That's just QB power. It McKinsey. doesn't look like there's any routes going. No. With the dead foot. You got QB power with dead foot. Um. <laughs> yeah, this was a lot of people's favorite play of the game, I think. Um, I don't get it. Am I missing something? Am I being too hard? Is it just like, hey, I'll show you guys. No so, wildcat here. <laughs> like, so, what the fuck? Why, dude? Let me, why? Let me get my opinion in here. Um, Please. It was second and three, and you ran the ball. Just ran it right up the gut. Then it was third, third and two. two. You ran it right up the gut. And it was fourth and two. And you say, this last two runs didn't work, so I guess I'm going to get an extra person in. Now I can get this blocking. I don't know. It is Travis, it, can Travis Hold. be used at this point? Is Travis no. hurt? Yeah, he's supposedly I think he's hurt, hurt at this point. Hold on a second. If you're coaching Wake Forest, do you expect McKenzie Milton to run? No, I get it. It's a tendency breaker, but he also has and, a gangrene and husk I, of a leg. I get it. But if your right guard makes a block, you've got a first down here. So you like the call. No, I don't like the call. It's a- <laughs> then why are you devils advocating it so hard if you don't like it either? Because the play is there. I mean, it is there. How, how well, are you going to run the ball three times against Wake Forest with three yards to go and not get the first down? Like, well, That's a whole other bag of issues well yeah i don't love the call either but but you need to be able to get this first down i know but you're you're calling this play knowing that these are the issues on your team i don't know i'm with you okay it's a hell of a tendency breaker (laughs) i would (laughs) i didn't expect it watching it i don't know dude. what i've called it absolutely not no i mean a a true tendency breaker is probably throwing the ball in that situation what else what else are you calling because, I mean, yeah, running the ball with Corbin didn't work the first two times. You just ran it two other times in a row and didn't get it. I like, have... the, I like the way that eight was running. I may have tried something with eight. And then that little toss sweep with eight, I probably would have done that in third down. Yeah. This exact play right here because uh, I think you could have ran it about a million times. Yeah, that does seem to be something that's working, which means it definitely won't work next week because it'll be scattered. <laughs> um well, if they're going to play man uh, coverage, then it's going to work, right? Like, I'm usually – Unless I'm, they're I'm just usually, cheating outside hard. Right. I'm And I'm – Jesus, I did it again. You're right, too, Kevin. I think, you, I think you could have called it eight times and just done the Madden switch side of the field every time. Do they run it again? No, but they faked it looking for the, the deep pass. Didn't so get a biter. Good, so that's good setup there. That looks identical to the <laughs> Travis play earlier. <laughs> yeah, it does, right? That one to Williamson? Yeah. That's funny. Oh god, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm usually I try not to be the guy who's like call the touchdown play, but that one still hurts my head. Oh, here you go. Look. What do we got? This here, is what buddy? I like to see. This Give is what hope. I this is what I liked about Norbell did last Kenny, year. Did and, Kenny Dillingham figure out that they were running make coverage finally? Well, look, they ran the fake to that's this spicy, that's been that's slicing people up. This linebacker vacates leaving a wide open zone behind him. So just you're sh- how you draw it up. Oh, shit. It's man coverage. Ah, so we do have man beaters in the game. Plan. <laughs> but you just see it. Finally, you see a play call that builds on another play call. And that's you're really right. the first time I've seen that in a while. Which is cr- how do we not? We didn't score any points in the second half, right? Oh, uh, you're about to see it. Wait a minute. How? Wait a minute. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It gets better, Trey. Wait. How do I get why you were so bad? Oh my God! You've got to be <laughs> shitting me. There's no your wonder mic- why this uh, team is mentally. There's, there's your microcosm. All right, no timeout. 
is that coaching or is that talent? I think this that's is, just that's I think whatever, this is Adam Fuller's fault. That's whatever blood pact you made to win the national championship with Jimbo Fisher. That's Lucifer <laughs> calling it his back. That's blood <laughs> Look at the blood magic on that book. That you know what? I get why these kids are mentally fried, dude. <laughs> like, it just feels like nothing ever goes their way. And they saw, I mean, they, oh, poor Mike. Come here, guys. Let's shake that one off. <laughs> like, what do you do, man? Fucking kill yourself. Oh, my God, dude. I can't believe it. That's so. I now can't you understand why he looks like he does in these freaking press conferences. What do you say? What do you say after that? Right. Like, yeah, man. Oh, God. Yeah. We're driving down there and a fucking ball just bounces. Ooh. Is that a penalty? Ball they should have been, 70, but they didn't call it. 76,000 different ways and we don't score. Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean I didn't mean to drop a hard F bomb there, Kevin. Yeah, I just right? Like this is apologies. my instant reaction. All right, cool. Another first down. So Wake Forest, I'm assuming, just gets as many first downs as they feel like before they start to feel I don't, sorry for us. I don't know if we even get the ball back. They had the ball. With you. They had the ball. Bro, is 40, there nine minutes, minutes left in this game and we don't get the ball back? I I don't remember if that's I mean, they, exactly the case. Come on, you no, we get it back here. The they doubled okay. us up in time of possession, so. Yeah, that's the hard thing about, like, yeah, you want to look at the defense. The raw stats look terrible, but they're on the field all game. Yeah, they always are, and that's that's demoralizing in and of itself. We so got a nice. All right, here's my problem with this play. Oof. Not, I, I don't blame McKenzie Milton for this. It's, it's a shot time. play. You have man coverage, that's and the, the Wake Forest's defensive back <laughs> is a better receiver than our, our receiver. <laughs> Well, why are we throwing it up to Keyshawn Helton? That's what that's what people will say. So you right, think sure. yeah, no, that. But that's not how it, football works. You're how does it work, Adam? You're Explain anticipating that. you're anticipating a coverage here. You didn't get the coverage. Tip the cap to Wake Forest. They call they they call something different. Yeah, look right? at that. That's pretty. This is a Tampa two, so famous. So it looks like cover two from the start. You call a nice play that. Uh, gets in here. I think at least that's Helton. Um, you clearly anticipate when you're calling shot plays, you're anticipating a coverage, right? But then didn't get the he coverage. sneaks back here, right underneath it. No, that's nice. I haven't seen the all twenty-two of that before. And he's got it. It's there. That's exactly how they drew it up. And the middle linebacker goes and makes a play. So that's yeah. just that's just that's just Wake Forest West. That's tip. That's tip the cap. That's just Fairly one of those out. things where. Uh, oh man, dude! Nobody there. Just no. I don't know if I want to say to, but they just want to get on the bus. They just want to get on the bus. I don't blame them at this point. There's all. I think there's we all did. People there. Is that just bad run fits there again? Yeah. Uh, if I were to guess. My, my eyes are done bleeding at this point, Trey. I couldn't tell you. I I'm, I can't believe I haven't scooped yes. mine out with a rusty teaspoon. I actually yeah. think it's the safety's too slow. Well, Lundy's, Lundy's getting held also. But. You know, they never showed you what Sandra Bullock saw in the bird box, but I think it might have been a tape of this game. <laughs> the entire world <laughs> off themselves. <laughs> this uh, is the bird box game. <laughs> but you just, I don't know. I feel like you just see kids out there that just kind of don't, just kind of lost be out it there, after Jacksonville, Jacksonville State. You don't want to be out there. You got to have kids that... That's 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 where you go from here. Figure out who wants to be out there, and if you're going to make a mistake, make it moving forward and make it go oh, 100 miles an hour. Hey. Mackenzie right. Milton, I don't you think don't I want to hit that hard. I don't Why is he that out again? there? Why is he out there right now, though? 35-14 right. yeah. this late in the game. Why is he playing? That that's a stupid decision. That's another. I, that's the, with Mike Norvell. The thing to me has been roster evaluation and roster management. This yeah, whole was... this whole winning thing. He's gonna have to get a grip on it. I get wanting to win football games, but man, sometimes. Well, he's never not won as a head coach, right? Like obviously, this is four. Yeah, yeah. Gotta think a little big picture here at times too. Oh my God, you have to be kidding me, dude. Yep. How are we looking at this team if they're one and two right now and they beat Notre Dame? With this same tape. Yep. It's add one more win to what I thought they were going to do. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know, but at least there'd be proof of concept for a team that shows that they could win when they could have lost to me. 
this is a team that will find every single way it can possibly lose. You're disgusted with yourself on the sideline. That so that's it. Mercifully, that's it. It ends on that that's play. It. A play that should have been a one yard loss is like a twelve yard gain. Story of Florida State's life. Um Yeah, dude, that's a team that didn't want to be out there. And that's a team that didn't want to be out there due to a combination of mistakes and also just getting punched in the mouth by Wake Forest over and over again. And if Wake Forest is going to grind you into like a submissive pile of dust, uh, good luck with the rest of the schedule. You got to find players that want to play because if not, people are going to get hurt, dude. You, you, you go around a football field at two miles an hour feeling sorry for yourself and confused and a guy who's a better athlete than you is coming 100 miles an hour, there's kids that are going to get hurt. You need to find out who wants to play, right? Am I being a little bit hyperbolic? I try not to be, but the game was – it was pretty gross. The, just, the, and I don't even want to call it – I don't even want to call it effort. Just the, the – you could – I could feel the morale emanating off every single guy at the end of that, man. That was sad to watch. Yeah, no, that's that's the way it felt. You're just sitting there during the game, and you're just like, the players don't want to be there. Why am I watching this? It's like, depressing. <laughs> it's like, what's that show that is like uh, genetically designed to make you cry? Like, this is us. Like, that was a this <laughs> is us episode. That was a Nicholas Sparks movie where the old guy has the heart attack. Hence They're the trying blue. to make me cry watching them. That is Hence depressing. the blue hue as I do the instant reaction meltdown. Brother, man, we're gonna get we're gonna get this channel booted off family family stations if you ever let me do an instant reaction. <laughs> Holy, dad, gummit, that was bad. <laughs> um, <sighs> okay, guys, post mortem. Uh, if this is the team you're gonna get, run for a God long year. Ma- <laughs> thank God UMass is on the schedule. Uh, I can't guarantee that's a win. That would be the ultimate. I mean, how, are you seriously projecting them to beat anybody? They have to beat UMass. Adam. They do? They have to beat UMass. I'm not going to talk about them. Not beating UMass. Hey, UMass oh. might actually want to win a game. I'm going to tell you right now, Mike, better start holding people accountable. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Because at this point, you're just kind of a... You can't... You, you, it's and, the only thing you've got to hang your hat on right now, because you ain't hanging your hat on any wins. You've got to figure out the story you're selling to the recruits, and you have to figure out how not to lose the talented guys you just recruited. And I'll tell you what, if the depth chart that came out today is an accurate reflection of what's actually going to be on the field against Louisville, then it's over. Mike Norville needs to change. He, he's a coach that we praise for the flexibility of his offense – and for the flexibility of his offense year to year, right? You have Daryl Henderson, your running team. You have Brady White, your throwing team. There seems to be a very um, large lack of flexibility in personnel rotation and in the identity that he wants his offense to have versus the reality of what you actually have. And if Mike Norvell is going to be clinging to this deep shot play passing offense with these receivers – that cannot do a damn thing, then Mike Norvell is not a flexible coach, and I was wrong in my initial assessment. I'm going to need to see some change. Yeah, I I think you said that all, all really well. Um, I will say, if you've gotten this far, <laughs> uh, that there's a great article by uh, John Marchant yes. um, that you guys should check out. I'll, I'll put it in the link below, and he kind of goes over over two things are, are the main thesis of it, but don't don't take my word for it. Read it. Read his excellent work. But um, one, Mike Norvell is our is our coach for for the foreseeable future, the next couple of years probably at least, uh, just due to monetary reasons and uh, due to to roster reasons. You you can't afford to have more transition classes. Every time you take a new transition class, you're basically going taking a year backwards. So when you transfer when you went from Taggart to Norvell you had to know that you were taking a step backwards with roster composition and that happens again if you if you leave Norvell too early second is just because he's our coach doesn't make him immune from criticism oh yeah i agree with that 100% um those are th- and that that was a really really good article another thing too is 
the reputation of the university. You can't fire two coaches in two years. Who's going to take the gig? Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> I'd love to I'm have a I'm with you. I could be your comms director. You can, you can fire me in a year and a half. I don't care. I'd love to have a five-minute conversation with Mike off the record. I would yeah. love to. He's Just... your guy. I agree. For all intents and purposes, I mean, even – even if we just do a fat one, 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 one and 11 record, he, he's your guy. He just, he's your guy until at least next year. I just want to stop hearing about X's and O's. This is no longer about X's and O's. That's I don't, bad for us. That's what we analyze. I know Wait it is. Minute. I know. We, and, and, we, and we're going to keep showing up week in, week out and doing that. All right. Don't you worry about that, Trey. Don't you worry about that. But this, we're, we're, we're 0 and 3. This, X's and Nulls. This is, it's called X's and Nulls. This is no longer about what is going on schematically on the football sure, field. Yeah. This is all about hashtag the climb. That's it's what it's got to be about day in and day out. If it's not, then they're going to see you as a fraud, which I did so eloquently Saturday night. They're going to see three of you. They're going to see you as a fraud, and guys aren't going to want to play for you. And when they don't want to play for you, it's the kind of result to turn out. Those acronyms are a lot less fun when you're getting your ass kicked. <laughs> they start to seem a little stupid, don't they? <laughs> yeah. You start to seem a little bit more Gary Busey-esque once you're getting just throttled by Wake Forest. Well, let's bring in our special guest. I don't really have too much more to add. I'm with you, Adam. <laughs> Keep your eye on personnel rotation. Keep your eye on – everybody's calling for a youth moon. Everybody knows. Does the head coach know – We'll find out. 